Hey, how's it going, everybody? What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to show you guys the easiest way to kill Killa. I'm going to show you some guns that you can use, some recommendations from myself, and also where he can spawn now. Now, lads, forgive me if I happen to leave out one or two spots where he can be. It's a little bit weird with Killa this wipe because he can spawn pretty much anywhere, much like last wipe. However, there are times where Killer will get aggroed and he'll move somewhere where he probably shouldn't be. This is why sometimes you've ran into Killer in a really, really strange spot. It is very likely that he aggroed to a PMC and he has now moved over to somewhere where he wouldn't normally be. So please keep that in mind while you're watching this, but I will do my best to cover everywhere where I have seen him and where you are very likely to find him in one of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible locations he can be on interchange. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to jump into some guns that you should be trying to use on your boy. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a shotgun. So this right here, the Benelli Super 90, all you're going to want to do put a nine round mag in it, grab yourself the 12 gauge cylinder, a monster claw. You can put the Urbino stock on it, then whatever optic you want. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking, really? A shotgun for killer? Well, what I'm about to show you might actually blow your mind. So we are going to go to this website, which is eft-ammo.com. So this website gives you all of the stats for the ammos in Tarkov. Now, if you want to kill killer really, really fast, with a gun that has zero recoil and has pretty decent range, you're just going to want to grab yourself some rip slugs. Why rip slugs? Well, they do 265 damage and they have 100% fragmentation chance. These slugs are absolutely broken for killing Killa. It is insane how good these are, okay? You can do this with Flechette as well. I've killed Killa with Flechette, but you're not going to want to aim for his legs. You're going to want to aim for his chest. Now, the only downside to this is you're going to completely zero his armor. Whatever you do, do not shoot Killa in the face. He has a really high level class 5 visor, and he has a lot more health on his head than like regular scabs and stuff. Now, if you're using something like much higher caliber, then obviously you can shoot him in the head. But with shotguns, if you're going to use flechette, you're going to want to aim for his chest. If you're using magnum buckshot or you're using rip rounds, you're going to want to aim for his legs. These other rounds here, the super performance hollow point slugs, I really don't think these slugs are that good. I know they do like a lot of high flesh damage. Same with the dual sabos, the grizzly 40 gauge slugs, the copper sabo slugs and stuff like that. I really don't think it's worth it at all to use these slugs because I found that they're like very inaccurate and they feel very, very inconsistent to use in uh, at least my own experience. All you got to do, go to your Benelli, your right click search and come to the flea market and then you're just going to go here and buy some rip slugs. The easy thing about this is you can just keep all of this ammo in your container and then keep your gun filled and then when you run out of ammo you can refill it from your container so you don't have to spend a fortune buying the ammo. However, if you were to, for example, buy 85 slugs, it's only going to cost you 47k. That's going to last you quite a while. Next gun. This is going to be no surprise to anybody, lads. The two vectors. Very, very easy peasy. Just mod this out whatever way you can. Do a link search, go to the ammo for the 45 vector. You are going to want to be using 45 rip ammo because 45 rip ammo, if we come back to the ammo chart here, is absolutely bonkers busted. And I'm surprised more people aren't using it. It does 130 damage and it has 100% frag chance. Pair that with the insane rate of fire and the zero recoil on the 45 vector and you've got yourself a dead killer. Close runner up as well. The Hydroshock ammo, super, super good too. And it also has a 50% frag chance. So you can also use that to kill killer. And then if you're using the counterpart and you're going to be using the 9mm vector instead, I would recommend just running rip rounds. You can use Quake Makers, you can use Lugers, but I would recommend getting your hands on rip rounds because unlike the 45 vector, you can actually buy 9mm rip rounds straight off the flea market. Now, they're a little bit expensive, but you can always do the whole, you know, one mag with these while you're looking for him or like mark a mag specifically. So when you do run into him, you can load in that mag and then use it to kill him. That is completely up to you. And then last but not least, I don't personally really like the 308 MDR. 
It's a pretty good gun. I just don't really like it that much, but a lot of people really like using this gun for killing killer. You can kill killer with this gun. If you have M80s, M62s, M61s, M993s, you name it, you'll be able to kill him. But what the, you're going to want to do is either spray into his chest or try and hit the very top of his head because that's where the class five part of his helmet is. Or even, you know, if you're close enough, you can mag dump his face. If you got M61s, M62s, you can probably get away with it. Other honorable mentions obviously also got the RFB and you also have the Vepper Hunter. I've talked about the Vepper Hunter before. I don't really like it very much because you can only have 10 rounders in it. If you're hunting for killer, give yourself the best chance of success. Run something with at least 20 rounds in it because you never know, you might just end up needing it. Also, some other honorable mentions, lads. The Ash 12 with PS 12Bs, you will absolutely delete killer off the face of the earth. So if you want to get your hands on this ammo, you can craft it in the hideout. It'll just absolutely melt his face and it'll also melt any other PMCs that you happen to run into as well. Okie dokie. So here we are in Ollie. So the most common place for killer to be is is he can be like between this sort of green shelf here and like this area. I've seen him here a couple of times. I think this might be one of his spots where he gets aggroed because I think he spawns like by the registers. So when he gets aggroed, he kind of comes over here. He takes cover. He can also be over there behind that as well. So you need to keep an eye out for that. Now, one spot I found out yesterday, and I believe this is another one of the spots where if he gets aggroed, he'll move over here. So if you come down these escalators here, make sure you always check this. Down here, underneath this escalator, apparently. We found his dead body here yesterday. I was with Jay. So we were hunting Killa all day. And one time we found him dead in that corner. So that's a spot he can either be in or move to. So now that I've shown you where he can be in Ollie, we're going to run over here. Now, this is another weird one. This is where his aggro kind of moves, where he spawns. I'm actually not entirely sure where he spawns down here. But I have had Killa be like here. And if he sees you down there, he will push. Like, he will push all the way down there. One time I was playing with Slush. We were standing behind this pillar here. I peeked out with the uh, Benelli. And I just dumped it into his chest. And I killed him as he was pushing us. So this general area, he will push you down there. He'll probably push you over there too. And another spot that you should keep an eye out on. Hiding behind this forklift. And also over here, hiding by this bus. You got to be careful of that. Now, when I was playing with Jay yesterday, he also told me that Killa can not only be hiding in this corner, he can also be here behind this container, and he can also be under here, which is just wonderful. Isn't that just great? Look at all the fancy places he can be. And he can also be over there as well by that yellow bus. I've had him come running from there, so that leads me to believe that his spawn point for down in the car park could potentially be the SR11 extract or maybe through the hole in the wall and then he kind of comes wandering through until he kind of decides where he wants to be. So now that that is covered, we're going to come up the concrete ramp here and you're going to want to immediately check your right here by this. I've seen him here a bunch, kind of by these wooden pallets and boxes, kind of just this general area. One really, really, really rare spawn he has is here, right here. I haven't seen it in a while, but I've seen clips of it, so he can still spawn in generic. Another place he can be standing right there. He can also be standing right in here or over there on the left in attic. He can also just be chilling between these boxes. Of course, the classic spot right there behind that metal barricade. And then he can also be in numerous places in here. Now, one little trick I'll give you guys if you're hunting killer and you are desperately looking to kill him, bring flashbang grenades with you. If you are looking for him and you throw a flash in his general area, he will voice line and it will aggro him and he will get very upset. So once you hear killer's very unique voice lines, that is when you know you need to be ready to mag dump his face or his chest or his legs, depending on what you're using. But same spawns as before. He can be down there in Viking. He can be down there in National. I've even seen him be like right at the front of the escalators there. And I think when he does that is when players come up the escalator, he sees them and then he pushes down to that area. I've also seen him over to the left by the uh, phone shop, I believe, on the corner. So those are some spots you're going to want to keep an eye out for him in. Now, one thing as well, if he does spawn in this general area, I don't know if this still works, but before you used to be able to open Kiba, when the alarms go off, Killa would just walk up to the door and he'd just sit here and he'd just kind of be looking around because we have a theory that apparently Killa can't see through bulletproof glass. So if you want to, I guess, bring your Kiba keys and the power is on, 
and you want to check and see, you know, if this works, uh, you can just open it. You know, what do you got to lose? You can loot Kiba anyway, I guess. And also, he can be upstairs. Now, when he's upstairs, he can be in a bunch of different places. The most common place that I've seen kill a bee is down there by Tardox or over by Sushi. Now, I've also seen him kind of top of the escalator. If he's downstairs and he gets aggroed by a player upstairs, he will run upstairs. So you got to be careful of that. But if he's up here, in general, you really don't want to come up these escalators. He will melt you before you see him and you will die. So he can be in a lot of places up here. One of the best things you can do is if he isn't in Tardox and you loop around from, let's say, you know, the idea side and you find out that he's here, go into Tardox, get aggro on him. And then you can drag him into this hallway here where you can hold an angle and try and kill him when he pushes you. So you got to be careful of that. And there is also a few more places that he can be on this side of the map. Lads, I know it's depressing trying to find him. But at least if you know the spots, you won't get too surprised when you hear him spraying at you with his RPK. So we're going to come in here. This is pretty lights. Myself and Jay found Killa dead right here yesterday. So he can be in pretty lights. So always make sure that you clear this. This is a good spot to flashbang. And then not only that... But Killa can also be over here in these tents. He can also be in that little middle tent there. He can be in many, many places around here. And then not only can he be in the tents, but if you come out here, I've seen him here before. I've seen him just chilling by the escalator here, which he can push you down, by the way. So if you aggro him from down below, he will push you. So be careful of that. I've also seen him here chilling by this truck on either side. So always make sure that you are clearing all of this to the best of your ability. We're going to head over to Idea now, and I'm going to show you his last set of spawns. Before we actually head into the actual Idea store, we're going to do the underground bit first, because the underground part for this is actually pretty straightforward. So in this entire general area between the escalator and let's say like the two connectors that lead to the car park, I'm going to cover this side first. So Killa can just be chilling here. Just in this general area by the truck, by the container. Yep, keep an eye out for that. He can also be chilling in any of the dark corners in this room. He can also be chilling in here under the escalator. In here, again, check the corners when you come around. And then out here, this corner, by the forklift, by the bus. And just in general in this area, he can be around. So when you're clearing this, make sure you're very careful with your angles. Make sure you clear every one of them independently. And just be very, very careful because it only takes one second for him to kill you. Now, coming up the stairs here. Where myself and Jay actually killed Killa yesterday was right here. He can be over in this area. So make sure you clear that out. Apparently, he can also spawn up here. I've never seen it, but apparently that's a thing. So when I found Killa there yesterday, he'd actually killed two PMCs that came up the escalator. So when you're coming up, always make sure you clear that angle. Now, another few places that he can be here. Seen him by these boxes. Seen him in this corner. One very common spot for him to spawn is right about here. I've seen Killa dead in these two spots many, many times. Uh, he can also be here. And if we come all the way back here, I've seen him there. I've seen him over there. And huh, don't worry, we're not done yet. I've also seen him back here. So like over there. In that corner. And then if we come all the way over here, another spot he can be in is right there. So when you jump over this broken wall, he's just sitting there looking at you. And now the spot that I actually found him in this wipe is we're going to come all the way down here to the back. And he was sitting right there. So... He can be literally everywhere. I'm also being told right now he can spawn all over the kitchen area and the top level. So there you go. So that's what I was saying about this spot upstairs in the cafe and the kitchen area down below. So with all of the information that I have just given you, this should give you a pretty good idea as to where he can be for the most part. So this is what I was saying earlier. Sometimes... Killa will just be in a weird spot because he got aggroed and he moved. But the best thing that you can do 
is when you go into a raid, make sure you're wearing contacts as well, by the way, when you're hunting Killa, because you need to be able to hear the gunshots. If you hear an RPK and you're looking for him, there's a good chance it's him. Not a lot of players run loud RPKs this wipe. I haven't really seen very many, and it is one of the more common guns that he can have. Now, also keep an ear out for loud AKMs because he doesn't always have the RPK. He can sometimes have the loud AK with like T45M ammo in it or whatever, or US ammo. Another thing to listen out for is the PP-19. So the suppressed PP-19 that Killa can have has a very, very unique sound. Not a lot of players run suppressed PP-19s. So if you happen to hear that, you are definitely better off just running at it and confirming that it's not him and then killing a player that has it rather than missing out on the opportunity of killing him. So I think I have pretty much covered everything about as well as I can. So lads, hopefully this helps you guys out. A lot of people have been asking for this guide. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that lovely stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, my dudes. And just like that.